The LG monitor beside me was amazing a year and a half ago, but is this still worth picking up in 2021? This is the 144Hz monitor, named the 34GL750-B, and this is an extensive review of it. Stick to the end of the video so you can know if it's a good buy or not. This monitor has so many great things, but it's also flawed in a few categories. You have to decide if the pros outweigh the cons. The wide display is wider than Putin, being at 34 inches diagonally, with unobtrusive and really thin bezels that you can barely notice. It features a 90.4% screen to body ratio, which is amazing by the way. Plus, it's IPS. Let's first consider the panel itself. IPS is great. It has the 1 millisecond motion blur reduction with only a 5 millisecond response time. It features Radeon's FreeSync and NVIDIA's G-Sync technology, and has emulated HDR with a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1, good enough to edit videos and images on for non-professionals. So what's the catch? It's 1080p. Stretching over the entire screen, it's only 82 ppi. Great for saving GPU power when gaming or streaming, but not so great when you're editing photos in Photoshop or Lightroom. I use it mainly to play games or do homework from an arm's length away so I can barely notice it. It's not really a problem for me, but it's something to consider. Plus, this video is not sponsored, so if you're interested, be sure to like and sub. I bought this monitor with my own money, so I hope you enjoy this video for sure. While recording the video, I actually forgot to talk about backlight lead, so here you go. This monitor actually has some very surprisingly good backlight leading or the lack thereof. It's very comparable to my 2020 iPad, which has amazing screens. So it's very impressive actually. Even with the ISO cranked up to 25,000, you can still barely even see the bleed. It's truly amazing. Okay, back to the video. Next, let's talk about the build. The stand is often a flaw with monitors, but not with this one. The stand is made of black and red plastic as well as metal. With it, you can make height adjustments and it has a wide range of tilt. Although there is no swivel, the assisted stand makes up for it. The monitor feels nearly weightless when you adjust the height. The monitor needs no fan, so it's completely silent, except for magnetic interference, which creates a faint but annoying buzzing sound. That only happens when you have a lot, and trust me, a lot of technology on your desk, which I understand why I hear it. The size is mostly comfortable on a standard desk, although it is too deep for my desk, so it hangs off. Thankfully, weight is balanced. The I.O. is fine. It comes with a headphone jack, one DisplayPort 1.4, and two HDMI 2.0 ports. I have the monitor connected with both the DisplayPort and HDMI to both my M1 Mac Mini and MacBook Pro, so I can quickly switch between the two. Now let's introduce a value into the equation. Right now, Amazon is still selling this monitor for $540, only around $100 less than when it was on January 1st of 2020, the day I bought it. $540 for this monitor is great, don't get me wrong, but I would recommend it more if it was cheaper. In my last video about this monitor posted about a year and a half ago, a few questions kept coming up. I'm sure you want to know the answers as well, so don't click off just yet. Question 1 of 3. You use it for homework, right? I was reading text at 1080p on 34-inch ultrawide monitor. I hear it's very pixelated and difficult to read. They say 34-inch ultrawides are best to be at 1440p. Okay, that is true. It is a bit pixelated if you pixel peep, but I tend to sit straight and even lean back into my chair like this. So I really don't notice it. Question two. Why is this guy wearing sunglasses inside his room? And never mind. It's for the same reason he is wearing a blazer, formal shirts, epilepsies. Hey look, he answered his own questions. Question three. Why would you buy a gaming monitor if you barely game? That's pretty dumb in my opinion. Doing an indoor video wearing sunglasses is also pretty dumb. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, this is actually a great question. The operating system feels a lot more fluid when you have a high refresh rate, which is why I want this monitor. Plus, ultra-wide means more screen real estate, allowing me to have more tabs and more windows open when I do homework. Even just reading emails and browsing the web, 144Hz and 34 inches is amazing. For me, basically, this monitor isn't just for gaming. 
I do all the homework, watch all the movies, and I edit all of my videos on it. In my last two desk setups featuring this monitor, I paired it with a 4K iMac because I was afraid this monitor can't do all the things I need, but I was wrong. This monitor is perfect for my workflow. So what do you think about it? Have I changed your mind, made up your mind? Let me know. Even though it's a bit old, I still think it's worth it. So if you want to buy this monitor or any accessories to go along with it, I have them linked in the description down below on Amazon, so you can check them out there. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like and sub to see more videos like this one. I'll see you next time, so take care.